Hi. Gino Pettis Adventures. I'm still Gino. Still my adventures. And it's a happy day. It's a happy, happy, happy day. I'm going to talk to you about, you probably remember a video I did on a place called El Rancho de San Luis Campestre. It's like a country club. It's like a country club hotel. And we were able to negotiate <clears throat> the price of a long-term stay for 30 days in your own cabana per person. Well, it was just for one guy. Uh, of $480 a month. That's right. Three meals a day. 30 days and your own cabana yeah. it has a pool has a jacuzzi uh, has transport it's it's about three or four miles from uh, Valle de San Jose and about two miles from El Paramo which is about all together f maybe 15 minutes 20 minutes outside of San Quentin kind of in a secluded well it's right on the highway but it's still secluded still beautiful and uh you know, you really never know how something's going to turn out until it turns out. So what we did is I had a gentleman contact me, and I'm going to give you the whole rundown on what we did for him. Let's just start at the beginning. Number one, he didn't know a lot of things. Like he didn't know you had to have a MIG uh, filled out to get on the airplane in the United States to, to enter into immigration <clears throat> and to... Uh, Columbia. He didn't know what the restrictions were, which there aren't any anymore. As long as you have your vaccine card, <coughs> you're good. And you have to have a MIG, which just basically tells you how you're coming, what you're coming for, what what documents you're going to use, your passport, your visa, whatever. So we got him squared away with that. <coughs> and he didn't give us much notice. He gave us like three days notice and I was in Seattle and I didn't know how I was going to pull it off because I couldn't pick him up at the airport in Bucaramanga. But anyway, I uh, we charged him a fee and we picked him up. My, my son, my stepson, picked him up at the airport about eight or nine days ago in Bucaramanga. <clears throat> and then we just had the standard run around. He, he, he hadn't given me enough time to where <clears throat> I could set up money, help him set up his money transfer to the hotel so he wouldn't have to go get cash out of the ATM. And um, he's an older gentleman, gets, he doesn't get around real, real well. But my, uh, my stepson's about 40 and he's really good at what he does. And so he, anyway, he picked him up at the, picked him up at the airport, um, packed his bags, and brought him to El uh, Rancho de San Luis and got him all got him all settled in and of course he didn't have he didn't have enough didn't have enough pesos to, to pay to pay his stay so my my, my uh, stepson took him into town took him to the metro where the majority of the ATMs are because it's close for him to walk from the car from the parking lot to the to the ATM there. It's just a few steps over to the <clears throat> elevator and go down the elevator and a few steps over to the ATM. So he got part of the money he needed and uh, and went back and got settled in got settled in the motel. And I've been checking on him every now and then. Checked it, checked on him today. Everything's fine. <clears throat> He's wanting a little more diversity in the food. You know, he's wanted to take a he's wanted to fish, you know, and then a few things like that. And they're going to charge him a little extra. But with the pace of the way it is right now, and I mean, he's st he's still all in for under five hundred dollars for under five hundred dollars a month. And uh, my stepson charges him two hundred thousand. Well, it charges him fifty bucks a day, whatever that turns out to be relative to the exchange exchange rate that day. 
So he comes uh, every now and then, and uh, and well, he calls and checks on him to see if he needs anything. And he this uh, he called today and he needed a few things, so we took care of it. Actually, the owner the owner called me and said that he was wanting a little more variety in his food, and he was wanting to, somebody to help him uh, to help him around the place because he he has a difficult time walking. So anyway, what I did is I set up, my stepson's coming up tomorrow, and I'm going to take him to town and, and get him some more money, and I'm going to take him to the uh, to the Metro store where he can buy him himself some beer and some wine and and some random goodies that he's like. They've uh, they put a uh, <clears throat> refrigerator in his room. He's a writer, so they put a desk in his room. And uh, I, I, I spoke to his, him this morning, and he's just, he's having a wonderful time. And of course, it's just like anything. It took a little while to get settled in, and, and the owner of the place had to get settled in with us. And, and it's like a three-way conversation, because he doesn't speak any Spanish. She doesn't speak any English. Can't get him on the phone at the same time. So it's like a, a roundy-poundy trying, <laughs> trying to get everybody, well, I want this, and I want that, and I want the other. And he was just dead set on getting a jacuzzi in the room. Well, getting a jacuzzi in the room was going to cost him like another thousand dollars, which is just crazy. But it's not because she has events and stuff. Um, so a jacuzzi in the room was out of the question. There's a jacuzzi at the pool. So <coughs> if he wants to go down to the pool, he can go down to the pool and get in the jacuzzi by the pool. And uh, there's a young man that'll help him, that'll help him around. And then when he wants to go tour, all he has to do is we, I hook him up with Julio and Julio uses my car and, uh, takes him where he needs to go. So he, he said he just wanted to basically go to town this week and next week then he wants to get out and about and take some, take some short tours to some of the local, like Barrachai, like Socorro, you know, some of the little, more touristy places, uh, so he can see what's life like, life's like in the valley. Take him up to Valle de San Jose. And so the the whole report here is is that it's gone really well. It's gone really well, and uh, the owner of the hotel stuck to her price, and is doing everything just like she said she was going to do. My guy's being a little fidgety, but he's you know he's just. Um, He's doing fine. He's, he said he likes it. It's getting along really well. Likes the hotel. Really likes the hotel. And uh, somebody mentioned that he wanted to move hotel. Well, he didn't want to move hotels. He wanted to move rooms to where he could get a jacuzzi. <clears throat> That's not going to happen. That's just way too much money. But uh, at any rate, I thought I'd give you fill you in on that. So go look for uh, my video that says that has got four hundred and eighty dollars on the front. And it will give you, it'll give you the pictures, and I, I don't have a, a pictures with me now. I've, it, but that, that video, go watch that video, and it will give you a breakdown on what's there and what it looks like and how beautiful, how beautiful it really is. So, I just like to say it's, uh, it's really nice when a, when a good plan comes together. And you never, like I said, you never know. I mean, you get somebody coming down here from the States, got to pick them up at the airport, Got to take him to the hotel. Got to make him happy. And it worked. Hallelujah. So now he's trying to figure out whether he's going to stay one month or two months or three months. Well, I hope he stays three. It'll, uh, we'll be shiny with the, with the lady at the hotel. Anyway, he's getting along well. Just want to tell you that. The hotel's doing well. Uh, El Rancho de San Luis. And uh, with that, I'll let you guys go. I really want you to know this is the first day of the rest of your life. Nothing changes, nothing changes. He took me at my word. He changed it up and is having a beautiful vacation. So, with that being said, Gino signing off here. I will see you on the flip side.